Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we talk about what's obviously most critically, crucially important. Today on This Is Important. When was the last time you guys really pulled up and watched Philadelphia? You watch him porno like underneath the table at the dinner table. Difference between us, you could start at the penis. Hang on, sit down, let's roll some loud and let's smoke this and let's talk for a little bit. Strap in. Yeah. It feels good. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. It feels back. good. Hey, hey, we back. I love starting with a, a <laughs> very loud popo zow to, to kick it popo off. Popo zow! <laughs> it's so loud, dude. <laughs> it is. It's deafening. What is he doing now? I know we play that. Like, how does he, uh, where is he on the Britney whole, the whole Britney thing? Has he tweeted about it? Ooh. Oh, yeah, right. What's the deal? Ooh. What's K-Fed's stance? What if, what if K-Fed was the secret puppet master behind the whole thing? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, that's possible. Mm -hmm. I, just, I don't even know the story. I just uh, thought that might be uh, provocative. He was the choreographer of it, if you will. I, whoa. Correct. Okay. Out the gate. I wasn't ready. Popos. <laughs> yes, oh. points. Yes, points. <laughs> oh, wait, we got something in the chat from Anna, so you know that it's good. <laughs> Kevin Anna. Federline wants Britney Spears. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry. A moment. <laughs> Ke Kevin Federline wants Britney Spears to be, quote, healthy and happy, says the, his lawyer. The kids love their mother. Do they have kids together? I guess I... I didn't, yes. know, I didn't know that was That's his her kid. baby daddy. Okay, I didn't know that. That's sorry. She's his baby mama. Are the kids with Brittany? They have shared custody. Ah, uh, it's such a shared cust custody. Kyle, as yeah. my friend who is Kevin Federline, you gotta tap in with mm -hmm. this story. Free Brittany, okay. man. Yes. It's really interesting. And what do you mean by he's Kevin Federline? He used to wear his hat cocked to the side, very large pants. Yeah. He dressed exactly like K Fed in high school. He worshiped K Fed. The whole reason. <laughs> I didn't worship K Fed, okay? It wasn't even high school. He was when he was like 22, 23. It was like it, that That lasted a long time for Kyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like his hat was always right here. <laughs> right. But that was a majority of people, right? That was a majority uh -huh. of like yes. guys our age. Oh, well, majority of people was, were doing this. Yes. Michael Phelps was doing it. Thank we all you. know that. But yeah. I would also say probably Michael Phelps and Kyle would get along very well. For sure. Same, oh. same wingspan. Yeah. Bro, yeah. You see how many pancakes that dude eats in the morning? Like, we I get haven't. along. I <laughs> we get along, dude. Same guy. <laughs> 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 You're all dude. sons of K Fed. You're all sons of K Fed. Just that's where it starts. So, Blake, break it down. Just just because I, I don't read. I kind of. Yes. I watched part of the documentary and then mm -hmm. I kind of got bored and didn't finish watching. What is, because I was just uh, wow. traveling uh, a week ago and mm -hmm. I saw like multiple women on this flight were wearing mm -hmm. free Britney shirts. Yes. And I'm like, are we, is there a rally? Like uh, what is happening? Why are people so invested? It was like a fucking thing. Like her dad, her dad is like a conservator, right? Yes. Something like yeah. that. So he yes. has control okay. over her money and has control over what she I does. I thought you didn't know anything and then well, you, you're breaking it Now it's coming out. No, I, I, I know a little bit about it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I'm, I guess I'm just checking. I'm seeing if my, if this is sound. Yeah, but so like, far it's all good. Okay. To, you yes. can say anything to me and I go, wow. <laughs> so they say that she's like, she was crazy. She went to the mental asylum and all that yes. stuff. And like, she was unfit to be a mother and unfit to, to hold her own money, but she right. was still fit enough to go She's and fit. perform mm -hmm. all these shows and mm -hmm. make the money for her father, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jamie Spears, who's the conservator. You know what I mean? Yes. And, and so, so and the, is, is like the thing, like he's the conservator, but like as a conservator, he needs to live in a dope house and drive dope cars and wear dope clothes and eat dope food. I think food. that's the, that's the hypocrisy that's going it, on. Yeah. I'm that's the sure thing that's where it's it like, he's yeah. like, as the conservator, I need to eat fucking delicious filet mignons and spago yeah i gotta go to spago well he's just in control of the money yes and i think oh. what's like but how how is he supposed to live i mean what's the I, i'm not saying what he's doing is correct <laughs> Wait a minute. i'm not saying what he's doing is correct but like what is the limit what's he supposed to be doing is he supposed to be driving corollas well you're not supposed to backstab your own daughter Shout out to toyota you're not supposed to backstab your own daughter and hijack her money in front of her face and make that's it not what impossible I just said. That's to not reverse what I said. 
That's not what I said. But what I did said, you say though? But what, what did is, you say though? People are if we're if we're criticizing how he's living as far as how he's spending the money. That's not why we're. That's not why we're. But that's what Adam him. just said. He's and so Adam, I'm saying. Fuck what's you, the, Adam. <laughs> Adam said, what don't free Britney. You said chain Britney. <laughs> yeah, you I said lost. chain said Britney. Chain. Adam, remember when you said chain Britney, I'm with I dad. I might have said that. Yeah, no, <laughs> I might have said I'm that. I'm with dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying why, like, why is he, uh, evidently Anna's saying he apparently now lives in a trailer in a field. <laughs> Which is I mean, odd. okay. We take everything Anna says as true, but this right. could be here. She's like, don't say anything. <laughs> this is what Anna's saying. Anna... Anna is speaking facts. The New York Times reported last week that mm -hmm. Jamie, uh, evidently Jamie's Britney's dad, also right. solid name. I know. Uh, What's her sister's name? Who sold Britney's Whitney. nearby childhood Jamie. home for $275,000 in February, lives in an RV that he parks outside the storage facility, which houses various memorabilia from his daughter's career. So this guy's a psychopath. Well, no, that doesn't yeah. sound like he, he's uh, he's making a ton of dough. Well, off he's of his not daughter. doing better. Yeah, like so. Yeah, it doesn't sound like he's. So is, is Britney really mean to her dad? I think that's what we're getting here. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. I think that's what Anna yeah. is helping us. I understand think Anna here. is specifically <laughs> saying oh. that Britney is in the wrong. So maybe free Britney's dad. <laughs> Right. If he didn't have to take care of his crazy daughter all the time, maybe he could get a job to where he doesn't have to live outside of a storage facility. Yeah, why did she in stick him in a in a Planet Hollywood trailer? Come on, man. And wait, are we saying that like if are we saying that if you can dance and lip sync a concert every night that you're a sound person or like that you are able to be a parent? Like that's the thing. It's well, like, well she's out there they, dancing. Well, yeah, I guess that's kind of the argument, right? I guess that's the question. But conservatorship is, is a little, it's a little whack because it's just like, well, just let her fucking be crazy and spend her money. Like, no one fucking locked up Michael Jackson. That guy was a fucking lunatic licking little boys' buttholes. Like, she's not doing anything wrong. <laughs> she just she just shaved her Debatable. head like 10 years ago. Which you know is what I mean? like, like the move. You got to do that. If that's the way to be like, fuck you, I'm not going to do yeah. like your commercials or whatever. I'm going to shave my head and you're not going to want me anywhere. Right. Yeah, I'm just like, well, just let her. Let her be crazy, and she made she earned all this money. Let her yeah. blow it. Have her build. Hey, straight. Have up. her build a fucking Ferris wheel in her backyard, like Michael Jackson. Like, mm -hmm. let her do the crazy shit. That's what right. people want to see. Let her we don't be see crazy. Her up. Let yeah, her be let crazy. Her I want to see. I want to see the kooky, <laughs> fucking things she will buy with her insane amount of money. You know, Adam. Do do you follow Britney Spears on Instagram? Because it is a great follow. She is awesome. I don't. I, right. It kind of made me sad. I looked at it once and I was like, it kind of looks like she's always crying. Like every post she has, it's just like her right. dancing. But then it looks like she's just got done, like just got done crying. Mm -hmm. Like it's always like, That's I just sad. got done crying my eyes out. And now I'm going to do a little TikTok dance in my kitchen. And you're just like, well, maybe... Dance do the this pain away. That's all she knows, dude. That's fine. Yeah, that's that's all she knows. Yeah. Know. When, when she, she held up that big snake, I was like, Well, here's what Anna's saying. Apparently, Play. the dad, uh, the dad has a drinking problem, and Kevin Federline filed a restraining order against him so he can't see their children. Go, K Fed. Cause of some shady <laughs> incident that's with lying. him and one of the kids. There was a shady incident. Oh, apparently. So, look, nobody nobody mentioned shady incident. So yeah. that makes me so happy that K Fed's a good dad. K -Fed? I'm pumped. Isn't it great? Everything is. Isn't fucked. it great? I mean, I again, I don't know anything about this, but isn't it crazy that like K Fed K Fed could come out on top as like. The good guy. The guy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's tight. K Fed is a good father. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. Oh, fuck. You Once again, we know absolutely nothing about this, but Kevin Federline is the greatest dad uh, in the history of dads. He's such a great would, dad. Yeah. I, once I again, I don't know anything K about this, Fed but he is. Flowers. Is Let's he have a book on how to flowers. raise children? I think he's got a. Hopefully, he has a Netflix show coming out. That would be amazing. Fatherhood with K Fed. I hope his children, when they do something good, they just scream. Blake, Blake, hit it. Blake, hit it. No, he's gonna hit. Blake, hit it. Popo oh, Sao! so you hit it for Adam. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Hey, I'll Thank have the you. Popo Sao on deck from now on. I guess I'm not that guy, pal. Popo Sao! <laughs> Popo Sao!
for weird sure. that he does it with an accent. Yeah, is it is that him screaming Popo's out or is By that the way, like... our podcast has talked about the Popo's out more than any other podcast in the world. I well, guess what? The community it. asked for it and we're bringing it. The community Popo wants Sal! this. It's still a great track. I will play 15 seconds yeah, of but it. But like Adam said, is that him <laughs> shouting it? Yes. Oh, yeah. And did, why did he use an accent? Yeah, uh, why be, did he put a little... Well, like, because it's a, like a oh, Brazilian wow. word and he's he's appropriating culture. <laughs> yeah. But is, but, and, but is he? Are you, are you appropriating it if you're just trying to do their accent so that you sound like they sound? Great question. No, you're not. You're just trying to pronounce it properly. Right? That's, a, that's, that's, that's not appropriate. Exactly that's exactly right. And, and that's how we all have to be... <laughs> At my wedding in important. Mexico, we all have to put on fun Mexican yeah. uh, accents. Garb. Si, si, senor. Si, senor. On everything that we say. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Chet Hanks it. I'm going to roll all my Chet Hanks I'm a, it. I'm and Chet it's Hanks not the appropriate. Of that. <laughs> it, let's just go. <laughs> have we given him his flowers? Chet? Oh, Chet? I love Chet Hanks. Oh, Dude, yeah. What so is tight. this Chet's? What is going on with Chet? I saw something about this. Well, nothing's really going on anymore, right? No, nothing. He's just, no. Well, quit acting like you don't know <laughs> what's going on about it. Because, and then you download it. Because it's yeah, what, yeah, hey, what Kyle, was happening? Hey, oh. what, what, I might have heard something about it. What I heard <laughs> was, Hanks and then you tell Chet us Hanks, exactly. He's just a problem child, right? He's like, no. He's what's the problem? What? Yeah, what's your what's your problem, pal? What's the problem? He's a solution child. <laughs> He's, okay, I don't know. I thought there was, I thought he was getting heat for something. Uh, he, yo, no, no, dude. Hold Chet up. Hanks is. I'm He's the king the of, of, of the white boys, man. He, yeah. Well, he did claim it's going to be a white boy summer. And at the time, it did feel a little weird and sensitive, like a weird thing. But here's what I love about Chet is he kept being himself. He never, oh, yeah. like, he, he doesn't come off as false to me. He's just being Chet. And I think people respect it when you... Chet, Chet's being Chet. What's your definition of false? Like, like it didn't seem like he was coming with, like, a weird motive. Like, it just feels like he's just being him. Like... He's having fun. He's having a good time. He's doing, like, uh, um, uh, shit. What is it like called? Jamaican what's, accent? Yeah, but what's it called? It's called, like, pa, pa, uh, I don't Patois? know the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's doing that. And yes. obviously, you're not that. You're right. not that guy, pal. But... <laughs> He, uh, it doesn't feel false to me. It, f it feels authentic. I think yeah. I think it comes Here's from what, a real place. Why Chet rocks? I mean, he's for <laughs> sure a fucking his Yo, dad. The rules. title of this episode: <laughs> Why Chet Hanks rocks. Yes. Uh, it's yeah. Blake is absolutely right. I feel like he was just that kid in in high school. Like his whole life, he was just right. like I'm a, I'm a, the hip hop guy. Right. And yes. it doesn't in feel Brent, like in Brentwood or whatever. Yes, for yes. sure. Yeah, and that kid uh, is hilarious. Has always been <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> uh, okay, and, and you just kind of know that kid. He doesn't feel like the kid that like one year he was emo, the next year he was deep into hip hop, right. the next yeah. year he was into like alternative rock. He like got deep into Spoon or some shit. <laughs> it, 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 you know what I mean? Oh. Like he's not taking big swings. It feels like he took one swing when he was in like the fifth grade, and he's like, I'm gonna get some diamond earrings. <laughs> and I'm going to be deep into hip hop. And he's just been that forever. Well, yeah. I also do think he has a past that like he had some addiction problems. And I think he came out of that. And then this is the form of him that is. He's uh, hooked. He's hooked on accents. Yeah. <laughs> this is the way he <laughs> he's stays addicted. sober. Yeah. He's addicted to doing <laughs> accents. Tight. Yeah. Everybody's got a vice. Or, or, or maybe he's reinvented himself. Uh, and like, like he didn't want to be the guy that he was. And this is his new thing. Like how. Um, yeah. What was it like? Alec Baldwin's wife had like a fake accent. That whole thing. Did she? Oh yeah, her right. shit was crazy though. What? I mean, I don't want to get into this because who no, fucking I cares? Do. But because <laughs> it's old news, we're like the last people to talk oh, about. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is this but is like, very topical. But it's so funny, dude. Are you gonna do it? <laughs> it's so funny. Go, go ahead. I, I don't I don't really know the details details, but apparently his wife grew up in like New Jersey or something, God. but had like had like spent time in portugal or some shit so she speaks with this and then so she adopted this accent and everyone she went to high school with is like what 
but she's yeah. always like how you say um, how, um no, she was on yeah. she was on like the today <laughs> no. show or something she was on like yeah. it was like an, an early morning talk show and she goes oh, no. uh, she's talking like this <laughs> and and for right. sure there's other interviews where she doesn't talk like this at all she right. just talks so normal yeah she's from massachusetts okay. here it is right. anna thank you and pretended to be from spain right oh and she pretended to not know how to say cucumber on a mor morning <laughs> oh, show yeah. she goes, right. how do you say how do you say <laughs> right. cucumber and the how do you say is so fucking funny right like bitch you're from massachusetts you know how to say Ooh. cucumber wow the b word right. uh you know what though it's also just like sad yeah fuck her be it like <laughs> bitch part of me is like don't do that the other part of me is like it's so it's sad funny. she's like i just i found this thing it kind of made me feel like i had something unique or different that like people noticed well you know and you can't do uh, it allow me to defend her allow me to defend her a little oh, bit anytime please. i go to like uh canada i do find myself speaking more like a canadian person i no, 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 i no, will no. absorb this is different. <laughs> sure this is different. no i mean there's a certain amount don't, of don't go off king do not go off king. there is a certain um, amount of like king you do not Go off. I'm a man. There's a certain amount of you pick up on, on sure whatever you know vocalizations and stuff. But you don't forget. I would never forget how to say cucumber. Yeah, you wouldn't <laughs> say. You wouldn't That's, then yeah. go on a morning show, right? And and suddenly you talk like this, <laughs> and you say, well, how do you say? How do you say cucumber? I, I, what's this all about? Is <laughs> I What's mean, well, all that, that'd be funny, though. We have the best podcast. We're talking about news from, like, so long ago, and we're talking about K-Fed that's not, like... Pope, Pope. This is so oh. over. That shit's important. Like, I know people are all about getting the first clicks on stuff. Like, you got to get the headline out there. Like, Dude, we're the last click. We're the last. We're, yeah, we're fourth wave. Yeah. I like to trudge up old news. This is what our, our community likes. They like to go, like, oh, shit, I kind of remember that. Right. <laughs> no one like when we were talking like, about Caduce, no one knew what the fuck dude, that I was. Dude, I still don't know who the fuck Caduce Durst, is. what was the show you just brought up last episode? Dobie Gillis? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know it like that. I still don't know that. Popo Sound! What was the other one? The, oh, the Patty Duke show was also on. You guys know Patty Dope. Duke show. Bob Newhart player. With like the no. twins? No. No, dude. You also, don't know Patty Duke? I know Patty Duke. Thank you. Dude, well, you know fucking just, Patty Duke. I mean, I remember. It's the what's title. her name's uh, mom. <laughs> what's going uh, on with your voice right now? You just dude? turned into title. Jeff Garland. Oh yeah, yeah. What is, what's is going on over there, Larry? Larry, this shit's important. <laughs> We're going with Cheryl. <laughs> oh no, that was not. Oh, Yo, no. we have to talk about Super Dave. <laughs> yeah, that was Funkhauser. Dude, yeah. we need to. Kyle needs a scan or some shit. His voice is actually scaring the shit out no, of me. No, I'm back. Hold I'm up. back. I'm just. Are up you here making fun the... of his dad's cancer situation? Yeah, are you dad? making dad making fun that's of my dad funny. having hey, cancer? Hey, because that's funny. Okay, cool. Then yes, yes, <laughs> yes. yes of course. Important. You're on the tightrope of comedy, and I like it. That shit's important. Uh, yeah, wait, no, can we talk allergies. about Super Dave Osborne? Sure, sure. we can. If you also want to. Known, we also can. known as yeah. Bob Bob Einstein. Sure, and his brother Albert Einstein. Yeah. Also known as Albert Brooks. Blake and yeah. I went to Super oh, yeah. Dave's house. What? We did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I remember the story. Yeah. We were like, yo, like, why don't we go to Super Dave and see if we can make Blake be the torch bearer of the Super <laughs> Dave franchise and be the son of Super Dave, Super, da idea. Super David Jr.? Super, Super David, Jr. David Jr. is, I mean, that's the Give right amount of dumb yeah. that I that I love. So Super David Jr. It would be essentially like the same tone, same everything, but more like X gamey because of Blake's hair and, and general vibe. <laughs> yeah. The walking Mountain Dew can kickstart that is Blake Anderson. We had this whole pitch. And first of all, super nice fucking Super guy. Dave is super nice. <laughs> super nice. Yeah, super nice Osborne. We had a whole pitch where it was going to be like he was in the pilot and mm -hmm. he was on his deathbed. And like, because they were like, he doesn't want to do much. And we're like, great, we'll put him on his deathbed. And ironically, <laughs> he died later. But yeah, um, RIP. Yeah. RIP. So RIP. then the whole pilot is like, uh -huh. Blake doesn't want to take the torch. And finally, he takes it. But then his dad selfishly is like, uh, welcome to the deathbed, and it turns out the deathbed is actually like a contraption that like throws him, right? Yeah, and that's like why it's called sick, the deathbed. <laughs> super sick stunt. Right. Uh, <laughs> and so we kind of had this 
this like arc for the season and like whatever. And he was like, I love it. I think that's funny. Well, what if we did a sketch show instead though? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He just, we were like, <laughs> okay, uh, anything fuck. you want to do. Fucking thing sucks. Uh, <laughs> fucking thing sucks. And then he told us amazing fuck stories it. about uh, fucking Red Fox. Thing sucks. Because he was like the showrunner yeah. for Red Fox's show. Yeah, no, like, because, well, he has like a bunch of history in like sketch and all that. Like, what yeah. show was he a part the of? Laugh like, in. He was yeah. write, writing oh. writing partners and roommates with Steve Martin back in the day. Yeah, just yeah. like crazy legendary he shit. He was a. Uh, right. Wasn't he Smothers Brothers writer as well? Or that he uh, yeah, was right yeah, after that yeah, time? Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That's possible. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so, so his name is Bob Einstein. His brother is named Albert Einstein, who later changed his names to Albert Brooks. <laughs> Albert Brooks, famous filmmaker. Yeah, uh, legend. 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 Yeah, great actor, great comedian. Great in drive. And you're like, who mm-hmm. names their kid Albert Einstein? Well, I mean, w- one the of funniest the funniest parents of right. all time. So his yep. dad, their dad, was a super funny guy back in the day, like... Um, like Catskill comedian type? Type, yes. That whole, that whole crew of like... What is it, Bob Hope? Like that era, Lucille sure. Ball. So yeah, he apparently sure. was like the funniest dude. And then was like radio, like way back. And then they did the roast of Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. I believe this is what it was. And he kind he kind of came out of like retirement for this. And they were like, oh shit, uh, so and so Einstein's about to kill it. And he did the roast, shut down the fucking house, was the funniest guy, sat down, sat back down on the dais. And died. Mm. What? Oh shit! Went out mm. on top. Kill like <laughs> killed it. Died. Um, Damn. At, at the roast, like right and then. then did he, and he his Holy last words fuck. were like, "And my unborn son is named Albert Brooks." And people or uh, Albert say, Einstein. <laughs> And it's they're like, like, damn, he flubbed his last joke. They're like, oh, fucking, that's hilarious. And then he dies. And no, the wife was like, was he joking? Do I have to? And they're like, it was his last words. Fuck him the- with Betty White's dick. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but back then, Betty White was like super hot. And everyone goes, yeah. what? Oh, what? Uh, that didn't like, make sense. Man. It'll yeah. get funnier later. It'll get funny. <laughs> and then yeah. so like, it'll be really funny by the mid 90s. <laughs> Of course, his children are going to grow up to be like the funniest people. Like those Super Dave things are so funny. And if well, you go explain, on YouTube, I feel like the community might not know exactly <laughs> who yes. Super Dave is. So, yes. uh, Durs, go ahead because I don't really know exactly. <laughs> Super Dave was like Turtle. It it I think originally it was a Fox special. Okay, and it was like a mockumentary in the same vein of um, Evil Knievel. It's a response yes. to Evil Knievel. It was a mm-hmm. mockumentary of an Evil Knievel type character. Right. Okay. Which, if people don't know what Evil Knievel is, it was like a motorcycle It was like man. a Travis Pastrana. Yeah. <laughs> it was Matt Hoffman-esque. Right. <laughs> I got it. Okay, I'm in. Before there was Monster Energy, there was Evil Knievel. Right. And he was just a chain-smoking yeah. dude that would jump cars on his motorcycle and, yeah. and almost Total died. psychopath. And so, in a leather cape. So Super Dave would do these these Fox one hour specials where the the whole episode is like just leading up to one big stunt that he's going to do and like going over it with like how they did it, how they designed it, like and it, it's very funny. And then yes. at the end the stunt just always goes completely wrong and you see like <laughs> yeah. a dummy get crushed by like a monster truck or whatever. Yes. And that was yep. it. But then even a spinoff of that, Super Dave had a cartoon in the 90s that this is, is true. how I knew about him. It's like Super Dave Osborne had a cartoon on like Fox Because we're different uh, generations. Yes. Yeah. You, yes. You are old as hell. You watch Silver Spoons and mm-hmm. Dobie Gil- McGuire. <laughs> Dobie <laughs> Gilbert. <laughs> I watch Bobby's World, okay? Okay. Bobby's, yeah. World. We, uh, Bobby's World was dope. <laughs> Bobby's World rocked. Bobby's World was tight. Which yeah. was what? Howie Mandel vehicle, yeah. correct? Oh. Wow. Howie Speaking Howie. of another legend. I guess Super Day became a show in Canada for several seasons that I don't I don't think we got access to. But like mm. but watch his talk show appearances on like Letterman. He's so brutal to the audience, Bob Einstein, where like yes. he'll be telling a story and people will laugh and he go, Can you be quiet? I'm in the middle yes. of a story. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And everyone is like, what? It's uh, so shut good. Up. Shut up! Well, and the whole way we got to even know him in, in 
in our everyday lives is he's just amazing on Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yeah, he's, that was the game changer. Right. So he's Funkhauser. Yeah, Curb Curb is what brought it back. And Kyle does an amazing impression. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Do your... Oh, hurry. <laughs> We're going with Cheryl. It's always when he has Fuck to it. choose after they've gotten divorced. I always go purely that. from one episode that Kyle <laughs> always draws from is the episode where they decided to get a divorce and yeah. then they're picking sides. Yeah. And they're, it's like I'm sorry, the Funkhausers. Yeah, the Funkhausers <laughs> are going with Cheryl. Curb <laughs> your enthusiasm hurt. is the funniest show of all time. The best show of all time. I mean, yeah, it's uh, awesome, it's, dude. It's so good. One of them. It's up there. It's hard yeah. to beat. What a wild... Maybe number two after Workaholics. Yeah. True, true. Yeah. What a wild time. Very big inspiration, though. And that's just yeah. the community. That, was it both HBO when it was going curb, like, back-to-back -back with Ollie G? Like, that shit was the funniest... It was the early 2000s. I remember when we were in community college... Not the 90s? Fuck. No, this was 2000s. I like the aughts. This is when we were in community college... I just got TiVo. And I remember, like, being out outside of like our little drama department and like that was how you like could tell if you were going to be like friends with people right if they were <laughs> quoting Ali G Yeah, <laughs> no if they like watched Ali G show or me Julie me Julie or liked curb your enthusiasm then you're like okay all right, all right. you're cool all right. Yeah. All right. You like good shit? No, it yeah. really was such a certain time frame because I truly did just get TiVo. Like, TiVo was the hot new shit. You could record television without having <laughs> it would sound yeah, like such a that's fucking crazy. geezer. That's rich. That's rich shit. It was no VCR shit. You just could. What was super sick is I want to say it was $800 when it came out. What, TiVo hey, was? Yeah. I remember when, well, your dad had it. You didn't have it. Your dad, you lived with your dad and he had it. Ballin'. I did, but he yeah. put a he put a TiVo in my room. What up, dad? What oh, up, Bob? Oh, Love you, guys. Dang, dang, Thanks, Bob. You know it. Lucky, lucky duck. But what was super sick about TiVo is you could search out an actor right. and they would give you everything they were in. So I would put in random ass names like, John Claude, and then you'd be like, "Oh, that's not random." <laughs> random ass name. Your favorite like, actor of all time. I don't know, well, uh, <laughs> random ass actor like um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. You're joking, right? Kevin Sorbo. <laughs> Some random ass actor like fucking Bruce Willis. I don't know. <laughs> well, what, no, but what would be cool is like, sure, you would expect to Some see all JCBDs, like <laughs> all JCBDs movies pop up, but it'd be like, oh, he's on this episode of Friends, which I'm bringing up back to back pod, but. <laughs> So then all of a sudden it would be like, oh, I, ne I didn't even know that dude was on that. It was like right. I put in Hulk Hogan and all of a sudden it's like just random, random actor. Walker, Texas Ranger. Oh, dude, that Hulk episode Hogan was is so on good. Walker, Texas Ranger. Are you surprised? Why are you shocked by that? If you told me he was on like Party of Five, I'd go, that's weird. You know the one, Kyle. <laughs> is that the episode where he says, show them your tattoo? Yeah. Boomer? If you told me he was on like, show me your tattoo, Boomer, an episode of Unsolved Mysteries or something, <laughs> yeah. then I'd be like, weird. And they still haven't solved it, brother. <laughs> I, I think the whole storyline of Hulk Hogan being on uh, Walker, Texas Ranger is like he used to be like in a biker gang. And, right. But he was starting oh, to go around shit. and teach kids that like being in gangs weren't cool. Mm -hmm. And Chuck Norris says, show them your tattoo, Boomer. Yeah, then, <laughs> it's the best read. It's the best read. Boomer we quoted Boomer? that shit for Boomer. His name was Boomer. Yeah. <laughs> Show them your tattoo, Boomer. One of the funniest shows oh. that didn't get that much love, which was a Walker, Texas Ranger, mm -hmm. like spinoff, mm -hmm. um, Eagle Heart. It was oh. so oh, yeah. well, goddamn. That's a send up, not a spinoff. Yes, yeah, a send up, not a spinoff. Yeah. I think we've talked about that on this show before, right? Yeah, we've a little bit. On that. We gave a couple flowers. We can give more. A yeah. whole bouquet. Right. That's yeah. funny ass show. So yeah. fucking yeah. Show. funny. Yeah. I mean, but to be fair, is uh, Walker, Texas Ranger funnier than Eagle Heart? <laughs> Ironically. <laughs> yeah, <'cause laughs> yeah. Wouldn't Conan play? Conan O'Brien would always. Let's give him his flowers again. Conan O'Brien <laughs> would play clips from Walker, Texas Ranger, Texas Ranger that were like insane, right? Yes. Where like he would punch some kid or something. I can't remember. <laughs> or no, yeah. it was this. It was like. My brother's retarded, or like I'm retarded, or something. Yes, right? yes, yes, yes. I know exactly the clip you're talking about. Is that what they say? I don't want to come out of pocket. Yeah, you go back into the '80s, and there's a lot of there's a lot of R R words in those. There's TV a lot shows. of R words. Yes, dude, the wildest. Or no, one. I'm thinking of I'm thinking of Quantum Leap. No, yes, it's from 
Quantum Leap. He, Where he looks in the mirror and he goes. Oh, yeah, that's. Yes. He leaps into a body I'm, and yeah. he has a, a. He is a person with Down syndrome, right. that episode. And he right. looks yeah. in the mirror and he says, I am the R word. <laughs> right. And it is oh. not aging well. <laughs> or it's aging very well. <laughs> the, the one on Walker Talks to Stranger. That's fine wine right there. Is where he goes, Walker. I have AIDS, and yeah, it's like the right. worst acting. Shout yeah, out to the yeah. kid, but like, yeah, it's like a ridiculous moment. <laughs> yeah, it's like a s small kid just being like, "I have AIDS, Walker," a and that's the kid? reason. <laughs> yeah, the yes. small kid that yeah. had AIDS, a child, a child born with a blood transfusion. Well, I don't know. Yes. Right, 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 right. Which, right. Is which we I, evidently we need to start educating people on AIDS again because the baby's out here just shouting into microphones, <laughs> Wait, misinformation. You know what though? Listen, <laughs> here's the thing. I was listening to what what concert was it from? I don't know what it was. Uh, the baby was on. Uh, what was the shit that was out here in Miami? This is real topical shit, guys. Yes. DaBaby, what are you talking about? Yeah, you set the table. Go ahead. Uh, so the baby was at the baby fucking festival. What fucking festival? Doesn't is in matter. Miami? A festival. Rolling loud. Rolling loud. Rolling. Rolling loud. loud. And he like got oh, on good. stage and before us, uh, he played the track. He's like, "Yo, if." If you're if you're like out in the parking lot sucking dick, don't put your lighters up. If you ha have any disease like AIDS that will kill you in two to three weeks, don't put your lighters up. It was like, what are you? Yo, what the so, fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Dude? So listen to this though. I was listening to LL's uh, XM station, Rock the Bells. Like mm -hmm. this is probably six months ago, and I remember it because I was floored by this. Mm -hmm. They were playing like super old tapes of like. Uh, from like those parties that were in the basements of apartment buildings that like where hip hop was founded and shit. Sure. And like DJs would do like the call and response where it's like, uh, ladies in the house say, hey. You got a $50 bill, to your hands up. Right. So like ladies in the house say, hey, fellas say ho, like all that. And then it was like, it, the dude basically said what baby said. He goes like, if the fellas in the house got HIV, be quiet. And they were like, raw, like if the ladies in the house got A's, don't make a sound. And I was like, because, and by the way, this is like peak AIDS, right? So like he's just, he's doing, it's almost a public service announcement. I just want to make sure everyone's clean in here. But the, the fact that they played this shit just six months ago, I was like, nobody screened this. This is crazy. And then I heard this and I was like, I've heard this before. This is I like throwback. Believe, uh, yeah, it's just a weird thing in today's day and age to be like still uninformed on HIV and AIDS. Like, what are you if doing? If anything, like, you, you want it now, right? <laughs> Thank you. It's a must have. Yeah, it's actually like so dope to have it now. Yeah, you're super cool. Uh, you're uncancelable if you have it. Yeah. Right. No, no, there's no, no but... there's no canceling you. What the fuck did uh -uh. he just say? He's got AIDS. <laughs> oh, well, um, let me hold his arm up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We just hold oh, his no. arm up for a victory. It was very weird. It was a weird thing to uh, lead into a song. <laughs> doom, just doom, be like, doom. who's having a good time tonight? Dude. <laughs> hey, if you're sucking dick, get in the parking lot. Don't put your ladders And up. by the way, his guy, like the towel waver guy, is like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's not. Let's just keep it real. Let's just keep it how we keep it. And yeah, like, it's really hard to be the hype man in that scenario. He could have been the guy to go, the baby. Maybe not. Uh, nah, nah. Uh, and then they sit down and have a discussion on stage. That would be legendary, right? Yeah. They sit in like rocking chairs. Yeah, they pull out chairs and have like a real heart to heart. The hype man's like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Stop that shit. Yo, 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 yo. Hey, yo. baby, what'd you just say? Like, <laughs> look, hang on. Sit down. Let's roll some loud and let's smoke this and let's talk for a little bit let's talk let's all talk let's have a community it's meeting. too bad it is it's he seemed like a good guy. Is the baby uh very <laughs> successful right now? I mean, he yeah, he's huge. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Because yes. he's in. He did a track with Dua Lipa. He's in the movie that I'm about and? to shoot after this movie. We have a like a part for him, and nice. I kept being like, he might have lost that part. Not, he's out. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure he is. But I I kept pitching. I'm like, I don't think the baby's gonna be like a flash in the pan. He's not gonna be. But then, and, and this is over the past year that I've been saying this with this script, trying to go like. Maybe we put somebody else, and he's kind of a placeholder right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, you keep getting Ja Rule. You're like Ja Rule. I think he's I available. Think ja Rule. I think Ja Rule has staying power. I'm like Ja Rule would be pretty great. Yes, he's got Firefest. It's got he stays relevant. He could be handing everyone cheese sandwiches at the party. It'd be pretty. <laughs> Maybe <sick>. not. <laughs> uh, but then he kept getting more and more famous. 
Yeah. The baby got more and more famous over the past year that I was like, it was like two weeks ago. I was finally like, well, maybe he is like going to stick around and we should keep him. And then all this shit came out about him. And I'm like, yeah, bitch, you out. Let's yeah. get Ja Rule on the phone. I, he's Goodbye. got a great smile. He's the big, best smile in hip hop for or, sure. Or hang on. Do we have him? He, it's like a party scene and he's at the he's at the party in the movie. Maybe right. he says this exact same thing. He sort of quotes himself from right. Rolling That's Loud. That's funny. And and we get some buzz. Yeah. We get it topical. Right. And then maybe we have that conversation in the movie. Like, yeah. And I go, I look yeah. in the camera and go, time out. Time out. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> you hit him with the fucking Zach Morris. <laughs> time out. Or do you let him do like a PR stunt where like his character has AIDS? And there you go. He plays that, and he's like, "Now I get it." Like, oh, oh, okay. shit. We just grind the movie to a halt about twenty minutes in, just to have this conversation. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't doesn't push the story forward at all. Hey, I don't think it'll grind it to a halt. People are living with AIDS. I think it's fine. Like, this is Steve got AIDS. Uh, this is my friend over here. He's uh, got. <laughs> everyone has an affliction it. that you have to say, like when you introduce them yeah. in the movie. As you should, as you always should. Arthritis Tony. This is mm -hmm. Asthma Annie. COVID Carly. <laughs> and they're all wearing affliction, too. They're all wearing afflictions. Yeah, that's the important part. It writes itself, Adam. You're welcome. But really, though, when was the last time you guys really pulled up and watched Philadelphia? Because that was the movie when I was a kid, when it was like, yo, this is the AIDS movie right here. And that shit was good as fuck. Fuck. Well, yeah, that was the... Yeah, it's still the AIDS movie. I've never seen it. you never seen Philadelphia? No, I just rocked the Bruce Springsteen song. Oh, my... It's Tom Hanks and Denzel, dude. I, I know. I know. I wonder if Chet Hanks was on that set just <laughs> wilding the fuck out. For sure. Oh, Denzel. <laughs> yo. Just, just saying some crazy <laughs> shit. You think my dad really got AIDS? That's just gross. He's like making up AIDS raps like uh, at Video Village. Like Denzel's uh -huh. like, yo, just could you not? Could you please not, Chet? That movie. Yeah. Hey, that movie's hella good. You got to check it, it is. out. Yes, Get it's it. a fantastic film. I got AIDS. I got paid. I got laid. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm Chad Hayes. But it's actually pretty Dude. fire. So you're like, well, fuck. Do we record this? Chet's a real talent. <laughs> what was he like? He was like fucking four years old when that movie was shooting. How about how Blake did you say, when's the last time you pulled up and watched Philadelphia? <laughs> okay. Never, I and I don't know if anyone has ever pulled up and watched Philadelphia, but... <laughs> Yo, fam, what you getting into this weekend? Philadelphia. Uh, you know, 25 years later. I'm just laid back watching some... <laughs> Philadelphia, always sunny in Philadelphia. No, 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 no. Nah. Fidelielfia. The uh, the uh, the Oscar winning, right? They won Oscars for that. Shit, yeah, for sure. I think he went back to back. Yeah, that's when Tom Hanks was on like his run where he did Philadelphia, then he did a Forrest Gump, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Forrest Gump. <laughs> he was like back to back Oscar winners. Yeah, I don't know if it was that order. Concord's or not. finest. <laughs> <laughs> Conquer connects. <laughs> That's right. And, and and to be perfectly honest, I've never seen Philadelphia either. Piedmont. You never seen you it, have right? it? Piedmont. I thought it was Forrest Gump, so I just watched Forrest Gump. <laughs> uh, I think they're in the same universe. It's like a Marvel universe. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. 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 Uh, yeah, I feel like I was too young. Like I didn't watch that because that movie would have came out when we were in like third or fourth grade. Like Wait, I didn't. It seemed hella serious. I made a point to watch it because I. Like later on, I was like, this Oh, I thought like you made a point in third grade. You're like, I'm making a point to watch this right. seminal film. Mom, I want to rent Philadelphia. And she's like, that's oh. rated R. And I'm like, I think it's important I watch mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I threw a fit and started crying and said, I also want to rent uh, three video games as well, please. Commando. <laughs> what was that movie that was like also very real that I came into your room trying to get you to play <laughs> NBA Street? And you I know exactly it. what you're talking yeah. about. This is classic. Like, this yeah. is classic. And, and I was like, what the fuck are you watching? You're like, nothing. Was dude, this it's Angels an in America? <laughs> yeah. So, yes. uh, so like, we're roommates. <laughs> this is before the Workaholics house. Me, uh -huh. Kyle, and Adam lived in a, a much smaller, worse house. <laughs> <laughs> Such a shitty house. Yeah. <laughs> Where yeah. Adam and I shared a wall. That's how I heard him banging through <laughs> the walls with. The <laughs> With red hot chili peppers. But there was one night where I was um I was sitting in the dark and I Scott had, tissue that I wish you saw. I had decided to pull up and watch uh Angels in America, which was <laughs> pull also up. He pulled to, up. 
<laughs> which was also a very poignant story about uh, having HIV, and it's mm-hmm. uh, it's also a it's also a play. Like that's how it really came up. It was like it was like a pretty well renowned known play, right? Mm-hmm. But Adam mm-hmm. like kind of like knocked on the door, opened the door real quick, and I, <laughs> and he walked in during the scene where there's literally a scene in Angels in America where a dude is like butt fucking a guy <laughs> against a tree, <laughs> and Adam's like. <laughs> What are you watching? Wait, but what's the line he says? Isn't this the line where he, he says, like, says, like, infect, infect me? me? Yeah, yeah, it's, like, super... Oh, wow. Right. It's a crazy moment. Oh, dude. I, I thought you were watching some, like, weirdo yes. porno. Yes. I was like, what kind of weird shit are you into, dude? I'm so sorry. You yeah. were, like, under the covers. You were... <laughs> Right, like, crying. I was like, what crying. is going on? Dude, what it's a go- it's a I'm, heavy ass film. It's a heavy film. I'm just trying to play NBA it's- Street with my homie. <laughs> hey bro, you wanna play some <laughs> video games? I'm oh like, I'm busy. <laughs> I'm like, stop them. You better hope to contain him. <laughs> Michael Jordan in the house. I come in quoting that. I'm like, Bro, what I was the getting fuck? my I was getting my theater major on that day. <laughs> And is this like mid? Are you watching this midday or is this like night? No, it was no, it was, it was night. night. It was, it was dark. Okay. It was definitely like very dark in my right. room. And right. he walked in on the. Word. <laughs> That's so right. tired. I yeah, forgot it was all cool. about that until right it, now. I can't forget it because I could have swore our. Uh, <laughs> it just was a fork in the road. <laughs> Isn't it crazy though? Like the walking in on somebody watching something. Isn't it crazy that whenever you would rent a movie as a kid or be watching a movie. Without fail, your parents would walk in at the exact the worst, worst moment of yeah. every movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. absolutely. Like, what the fuck it is that? All... How was that? I don't know. Is this is parent parental like. Yeah, they just have a, a sixth sense to to come in. Hey, what do you guys want? Whoa, okay. Um, <laughs> probably turn this off. Maybe you're not gonna watch the rest of this movie, son. And kids like parents don't give a f- like. Now kids are like headphones and iPad on. Parents yeah. have no idea. There's no, no one no. walking in, right? Uh yeah no, walking in is done. Yeah, <laughs> walking in is walked out. <laughs> They're just watching some hardcore porno in the living room, and you have no idea. The parents, the parents are. Yeah, the kids are watching R-rated <laughs> movies, but the parents are too busy watching porno to go in and check on the kids. Dude, if you were sixteen, if you were sixteen and had a cell phone, you'd be. I mean, you'd be watching porno like underneath the table at the dinner table, right? right. Like during just, the right? cat during the cat like, well, tests. I'll fucking chuck this shit out, yeah. And, and Kyle, you say at the dinner table, but I don't even know if there is dinner anymore in today's family. Oh so, man, right? you think that there's no more dinner together? There's no more family uh, dinner. Let's, hey, and let's talk about it. You think people sit around and have supper? Come on, now. <laughs> Come on now. supper's gone. Yeah, maybe that's an archaic thought. I don't know. I guess I didn't. Never thought about that. You know what they come for though? They come for dessert. I'll tell you that. All right, that's like that's the new dinner bell. Do you guys have a? I, I feel like Durs, you, your family probably does like a, a dinner time together. Do you guys do a dinner time? Yeah, uh, we try. We try. I that's mean, awesome. like if I'm working on set, obviously I'm not there because you're filming till seven. But uh, for sure, yeah. And then I just come in. And, I'll tuck you in, big guy. How are you? How was your day? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we try and have some dinner. Yeah, that's fine. Man, like dinner time was absolutely a, such a thing with my family. It oh, was, yeah. it was mm-hmm. awesome. It is super important. It's the one time of the day you are forced to be with each forced. other. <laughs> my dinner times were so forced. crazy because there was, so we had like a kitchen where the kids sat at like the um, counter and then there was a table that my parents sat at that was separate. I love uh, this. Oh. I love peeks into Durza's childhood. Yeah, dude. That's <laughs> insanity. <laughs> yeah. And the parents were... Uh, pizza, pizza. They actually were in a different room. And... No, so like this, so that's the kitchen. We had a dining room, and sometimes we would all eat at the table there. But so we would eat, and then afterwards, me and my brothers, my dad would be like, put your chairs up against the wall. And then he Stop. would just like interview us about our day. <laughs> That's what we had to do at our Weird, dinner table, too. We would stuff. have to talk about that. We'd have to say, like, what was your favorite part of the day? Yeah. What was yeah, something but, that you learned? Like, yeah. you know, there was boxes to check and to spark conversation amongst right. the family. Yeah, that's what we would do, too. We would do, yeah. like, high-low. Like, what was the high of your day and right. the low of your day? I think like, I said this. We do uh, rose thorn bud, which is, like, the best, thing, off. the best thing your day, <laughs> the worst thing your day, and then the thing you're looking forward to. Oh, that's cute. Wow, that's actually very cool. We dig it. We we, we learned it from um, Emma's sister's family. 
Um, uh, and what did you call it? Rose thorn rose, bud? Yeah. yeah like I feel the like the rose you is work. good, the thorn hurt, right. and the bud is about to bloom. It's blossoming. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Sure. I, I mean, that is cute, but Durr. that's like super deep, dude. I love that. I love that. You guys that are kind of like a hippie squad or something? Yeah. Yeah, that's like, that's that's some poetry. Yeah, that's some hippie shit. Yo, it, and then <laughs> this is more this is more insight into my family. When we all went to Yosemite for uh, my 40th, as like my parents, my brothers, uh, significant others, my family, we, I was like, hey, like, let's do it. And I, I, there's, I'm, I think I have way more, and you guys will laugh, <laughs> emotional, like, con, like, like I'm way more emotional than more than people in my family. You're the most emotional per. Yeah, yeah that's you're the awesome. most, and right? you are a truly an that. android. You are a cyborg. <laughs> yeah, right? so. yeah, he's an alien. <laughs> so I go, hey, let's do this thing my family does called Rose Thorn Bud, and yo, it's a tea. My, my, it was crazy. And your dad's like, what the fuck? No, 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 <laughs> o- opposite. Opposite. Oh, dad, let it go. My, one, my, yes. <laughs> Finally. What? Get it. Give it to me. Give it I to me. Instantly, it. instantly, he just goes, I got no thorns. I'm just, I'm all roses. It's good to be here. It's good to be alive. Because he's older, you know? Uh, yeah. And like, we're all together. And he, and I was I'm like, a nightmare. I was like, we're just doing like the fun dinner time thing. And it was like, just, and my other brother just started laughing. Couldn't do it. <sighs> Eric. Couldn't do it. He was, no, Foley. He what? was like, he goes, oh, we couldn't do it. I'm blowing up people's spots now, but yeah, yeah, couldn't that's do okay. it. Hey, all the home brothers, that's all the fine. home dad, home mom, they're good. They great people. We love what? Them. Couldn't do it. Eric <laughs> was like, Eric just locked up and was like, I don't know. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> I'm like, it's not hard. It's this, that, and the other. And I go, Emma yeah, goes. Just like spark conversation. My children do it. Um, and then I can't remember if my mom just like got up and was like, "Let's get the dessert." Or like, but it was like, I was like, bro, this it's is such a micro crazy. What you realize is that entire rose bud thorn thing was a, just a microcosm of the right. whole existence. <laughs> it all made sense. It should not be this hard to express how you felt that day. And it Dude, was fuck that man. Dudes aren't allowed to cry. Fuck my dad just goes uh, shout out to Phil. Shout out to Phil. Shout out Good to job, Phil. man. Big fuck Phil. Yes. Yeah, big Phil dog. My, uh, my dad, I was talking to him about how when he found out that he was cancer free, uh, or, or at least there's no detectable cancer We're in him. And on. I, I was, I that was, that shit's important. I cried like a child. Like mm. later on, it was delayed because I, it didn't hit me. It was delayed for like a day and a half. Right. And then all of a sudden it just like came out and I cried like happy tears for like 20 minutes. Right. And I was, uh, and I keep talking to him and he's like, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm so happy. I could, I could cry. I could cry. And I'm I like, could. well, have you? And he's like, no. No, no, yeah. I go could. For, go for it, Dad. I'm here for you. I could. You. I'm like, you can. And he's like, nah, no, nah, but I could. I could cry. I'm good. I could. I could. Uh, no, that I could thing, just let it go. Well, that, go, that go, feel free. I could go do ahead. He's like, nah, well, I could. I could do it, but I'm not going to. <laughs> now you're talking Adam, crazy. <laughs> Adam, it's like your stand up set. It's like, <laughs> I could laugh. That's funny. That's, yeah, that's funny. Well, oh, then yeah, just laugh. Funny. If it's funny, laugh. Well, then just laugh about it. <laughs> Go ahead uh-huh. and laugh. If it's funny, why aren't you laughing? Yeah, it's a human emotion. Just uh, oh, I could, I could. It is funny. It is funny. Mm-hmm. Open I could those. laugh. Let I could let cry. I won't, but I could. Crying rocks, man. Crying fucking rocks. Will you put that hat on, Kyle? What's up? Will you put that hat on right there? Oh yeah, sure. Crying is rocks. Is that yours? Kyle? Is that direct for directing outside? No, or not, I mean, is, I guess you're producing my friend, right now. My friend Teddy's hat. Oh, yeah. Teddy. Yes. Well, there's no, the, the top of it's there's ripped no open. So yeah, you let yeah. the heat out. You let the heat well, out. Well, he there. told the story. Oh. I guess he, he bumps his head on shit all the fucking time. Oh, and he has it dialed. Face. He has it dialed at his work, so he wasn't bumping his head. Then he got a new hat, and it's a little bit taller, and he just bumps it all the time. So he cut the top off. He's so a he tall, bump tall his head guy. Anymore. Sure. Yeah, no, Teddy's out here. He's in the movie that I'm producing right now. That's Ooh, freaking sick. Nice. Hey, Blake, real quick. This is he a real spins. quick thing, and I want to get back to Teddy. Blake, will you just freeze for <laughs> yeah. one moment? Don't move. I want someone to take a screenshot of this and then CGI or, or Photoshop out his long hair just so we can see what Blake looks like with the short hair there. Oh, it looks, dude, this wave? 
This yeah, you look yeah. like you just have like kind of short, normal. Like that's what Blake would look like. If you he think had. that's what I do? I do this to myself all the time. Like, what would I look like with it? But I feel like if my hair was this short, it wouldn't like wave like that. It would be more of an afro. Lay. It wouldn't lay the same way. And we'll mm -hmm. never know. Yeah, because I would love to be this guy. Oh, I man. bet. I bet it's straighter now because it's been so long for so long. I think it wouldn't yeah. curl up in the same way that it did when we were younger. Like, you look like a California, like a Southern California 90s, 1990s surfer from, like, the real world L.A. guy. Mm -hmm. I'll take that. Uh, cut well, your hair, man. Just cut your hair. Do yeah, it. Yeah, you look like you were a cast member of California Dreamin'. Yes. Which was, which was the show that aired directly after Saved City? by the Bell. Right. Or City Guys? And then what? City Guys came on I after that? I love City Guys. <laughs> When, when was were they, like the rich high? kid and the kid from like the projects were like, I guess we're more like than we thought. And they became homies in the pilot. City Guys was so good. Weren't they, did they work at a radio station together? City Guys? They went to prep school together in the city. Oh, maybe they did. I yeah, think yeah, the yeah. school had a radio station. I think there was like a really special episode where it was like, <laughs> I like reggae. <laughs> <laughs> I like the, white, reggae. the white guy, the Chet Hay <laughs> Hayes, is like, I like reggae. It's like, you can't. Oh, that's why yeah. he is the way he is. You saw that episode and like, that's me. And then what was the Anthony Anderson basketball one? Oh, wow. Hoop, hooping? I only remember uh, hanging with Mr. Cooper. Yeah, hanging with Mr. Cooper. Yeah, that's the Mark Curry. Bay Area. But there was a basketball one and Anthony was Anderson there? was on it, right? Well, hanging with Mr. Cooper was a basketball one. That was, he was the basketball coach at Yeah, at that was school. a, that's an all-time show right there. Oh, yeah. Anthony Anderson basketball <laughs> show. I'm surprised, Ooh. I'm surprised I haven't done that hang time. <laughs> Hang Blake, time. Ha oh, hang, hang time. time. Oh, remember Blake, when we we actually had a pitch way back in the day that was, uh, it, it it was called like hanging with the boys or something that that essentially it was an after school special mm. that we're the hosts of. Do you remember this? That we did it. We did a, a sketch live with Jillian at um what was that place called West Side Eclectic or whatever. Sure. Uh huh. We yes. did a hang time sketch. Oh, oh okay. yeah, what was but that? I, I remember I we know. wanted to do a TV show where it's an after-school special that we're hosting, like in our clubhouse, and then we are actually the stars of like these little, basically sketch show of of after-school specials. Right. Yeah, because what were those things? I feel like they were called hang time, where like it would be those on like PBS or whatever, where it would be kids like sitting around talking about like. Politics, maybe? Oh, are you talking about Nick News? <laughs> no, it wasn't Nick News. Like the more you know kind of thing? Where they would just be on those bleachers like, yo, so what is voting? And no, she'd be like, I'm even, glad you it, asked. It was like purely like a one hour special where sometimes I feel like even the president would roll up and then like, <laughs> and then like <laughs> young pull, kids pull would be like. Up. Yeah, would he pull up or roll up? A little bit of both. Pull, uh, hey, if it was Bill Clinton, he was rolling up. Hey, right? Hold on, let me get my... Yes, points! I didn't inhale. <laughs> it was just be kids like asking about like the political process and all that. And I, I, I wanted to say it was called hang time, but maybe it wasn't. Yeah, I'm tight, I, could, tight. I could believe that. It was for sure an after school special and it was just kids sitting around. Those after school uh, specials were so goddamn funny. Like there wasn't even how old are you before you realize? I never remember thinking that they weren't hilarious. Yeah, it was that our era? I don't remember any of them. I know that they happened. No, I think it was our era. It was our era. You're it watching Dip Dipsy. Yeah, you were watching <laughs> what? whatever old person. What, what's her name? Do Spoons or Doby Gil Dope. Doby Gilbert. <laughs> but they were in the 80s. Popo and then they went away, and maybe they came back because I I was watching Ducktales and shit. It was way nineties. Yeah, it was the it was the nineties. Everyone's wearing neon and has like the the. Like Zach what's Morris what's one swisher. you remember? I'm not trying to like be a dick, but like what's one? I mean, fuck. I, well, Blake just said Bill Clinton rolled up. Yes, <laughs> I, but that's not like what what is that? I just remember. Yeah, I think we're talking is about this the like same thing. Is this like when things. they would sit down and talk about like a problem, like a socio yes uh, issues? But then they would yes. they would then pitch to. Like the incident that's happening, they're like, I hate bullies. Yes. You know, like bu bullies, and you're, you're talking about bullies, then they go to a clip of like bullying, and then they break it down, like what you can do in this situation to defuse oh, yeah. the situation. Was this like after 
inside stuff or something like late Saturdays or was this after school? Like, I have it, no idea when it, I, when it yeah. was. It might have been during summer. <laughs> Remember summer? Summer yeah. was so tight. Summer at Kids Club USA? I was just saying that this summer has fucking soared past. I'm like, I don't even, I haven't even. Well, it's not over yet, right? We're just in, we're just in August. Yeah, right? I miss being a child when like, so, when summer was like, oh shit, guess yeah. what I'm about to do? It was 40 not years wear a long. shirt for, yeah. for six weeks straight. Yeah. Until my mom absolutely yes. makes me put one on for, for something that I have to go do. How tan? When you were kids, you'd get so tan, so and tan. then like you get older, you're like, "What happened to the tan I would get in summertime?" <laughs> and mm -hmm. then you're like, "Oh yeah, it's because I don't take my shirt off anymore." Yeah, although you guys would love my tan right I now. I feel like, dude, for the bachelor party, Kyle, it's shirts off. You have to go. I, I feel like we should all go shirtless the entire time, and mm -hmm. that I includes you. Thought we were you. wearing suits. I thought we were being MIB. No, we're I doing mean, speedos and no. leather vests that say the Divine Angels. Okay. All right, <laughs> well, that's hey, right. You, Show up in whatever regalia you want. I might be in a in a suit. Who knows? Okay. Yeah. With sunglasses, with Ray Bans. Yeah. Hey, I make the difference between me and you is I make this shit look good. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. I'm I might be in full scuba gear, uh, both based on what I'm hearing about the Ozarks and COVID right now. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> I might be wearing a fishbowl on my head. Yeah. Wait, what's going on out there? It's like the epicenter of 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 COVID right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm walking into a spreader. Super spreader. <laughs> Bubble sack. The Zarks, baby. Although, Get I don't know. Zarked. These doctors, they might be just saying it's COVID and it could be. Uh, yeah. You're going to trust the Brozark doctors? Yeah. It's got to be COVID. Could be swine flu. It's COVID, dude. Uh, no, that's cancer. Oops. My B. <laughs> Later. My bee, dog. We're going kneeboarding. Yes, 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 yes. So, do we yes. have any take backs, any apologies, any giveaways? Oh, what, do we, what do we have for this? I feel like we were very nice nah. to each other this podcast. Yeah. I, there wasn't a lot of meanness. Hmm. What do you What do you know, you fucking idiot? Maybe we should do a giveaway. I would like to apologize um, to Durs for not remembering exactly um, what this after school special was. I'm I'm over here reeling about that. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, I know you you were pissed by it, but it, it was sort of just like a hazy memory for me. That's what I'm saying. I have memories of them, but they were all starring like Sarah Jessica Parker and people from like before. I can't remember anything about anything. The fact that I even remember having a childhood, I right. feel like that's a win for me. Right. Good job, Adam. I'll compliment you there. So the fact that I remember being a, being a kid, I uh, you know that's a that's a big win for for Team Me for there Team Adam's go. brain, <laughs> Team yeah. My brain, Team Myself. Team Adam's brain. <laughs> Team one man myself. <laughs> Team just me. I, I want to uh, do, a, if, if I don't know what the, we would call this, but I want to dig a little deeper. Are Ooh. you, Kyle, are you <laughs> filming something with Teddy right now then? Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, man. I'm out here. I'm in production. We're, uh, I'm, I'm making a, a thriller, independent thriller. <laughs> and Teddy is a guy that Blake and Kyle, I love it. Blake and Kyle grew up with. Yeah. Teddy, I've known Teddy since. I've known Teddy since kindergarten. We moved to L.A. together. He bounced and went and got his master's in the theater. Yeah. Um, and now he's like a, a botanist. <laughs> he works with plants. He got out of the theater during the pandemic. And mm -hmm. then uh, my brother's directing this movie. And so I, I was like, Teddy's the guy. Mm -hmm. And so now he's, yeah. he's gracing the silver screen with his... With grace. his uh, craft, <laughs> yeah. with his, and it's fucking cool. Grace in the silver screen with his grace, <laughs> with his grace and his craft for the screen. That's cool. That's fun. Where are you guys shooting at? We're up in Longbourn, California, up in the hills. We got about twenty people up here, and we're shooting a movie in. We're shooting the movie in eleven days. Longbourn, 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 California. Ooh, Longbourn. Yeah. So if you got that good, good in Longbourn, go ahead and find Kyle and give it to him. What's the deal with Longbourn, bro? Longbourn population two fifteen. Mm. Uh, we rolled out that's, here with, but that's like scary California. When you start getting in those towns, that's where it gets a little sketch. Right, for Children me. of the Corn shit. Yeah, well, yeah, dude, Sasquatch, Sasquatch <laughs> is out here. <laughs> that's right. Okay, I'm not that's so right. much as afraid. <laughs> is is like where is that? I, you're it's saying the, it's up here. I don't know what that means. Is that it's are like, you way um, northern California or what? It's like in between Yosemite and South Lake Tahoe. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, uh, it's in between that area. Nice. Okay, uh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's well, tough, yeah, man. Dude. You find yeah, your, you all... find chargers for your car up there. Yeah, we got wall outlets yeah, and stuff. I... You know, it's all good. Mm. Are they looking at you sideways in your little Tesla out in Longbarn? 
No, man. People are pretty chill. It's all good. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're too high to look at you sideways, man. Yeah, Ooh. that's what's yeah. up, baby. Yeah. Mm. yeah, but yeah, dude, it's weird. It's the second indie film Small I've made in a year. Look at you go. It's the second movie I've made in, in, in the last 12 months, which is like, what is going on? So you like COVID. Yeah, I like, you, I like you, going out and making movies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah That's yeah. tight, dude. Congrats. Nice. Dang, I I really remember like putting something in my mind like, yo, I, I need to apologize that, but I, I've completely forgot. I'm, uh, I have I'm something s- around those things because we always say giveaways and I'm like, yes. what's yeah. up? Can well, we do a giveaway? Are you doing a giveaway? Well, yeah, how do, do we giveaway, formulate dude. that? I think it would be cool to give we'll something away. We'll figure it out. What are you going to give away? Yeah, what do you want to give away? Um, Maybe... The Vo? <laughs> He's just looking around. Yeah. You, just look, you just look behind you. Uh, I thought you had a plan. Uh, what is, uh, no, what no. is underneath this chair? Uh, 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 the curtains uh, behind me. Uh, this hat. Uh, this hat, this this hat with a, uh, <laughs> This hat that uh, Teddy wore. Well, why don't, since you're the producer of this movie, dude, why don't you give away um, a, a, a star part. and role Ooh, in your a movie? a background yeah. walk-on yeah. featured yeah. extra? Unfortunately, yeah, we'll be we'll be done by the time oh, right. this podcast airs. We'll be wrapped. Short shoot. So uh, what? Short shoot. Get on okay. social. Let's make it happen. Yeah. All well, right. Cool. Also, dude, you know what you could do? It's in in post. They send a photo in. You just right. superimpose their face in the mm-hmm. in the deep background, as, and then you know, look look for yourself. <laughs> right. right. If this movie ends up having to have narration to fix plot holes uh-huh you get to this person gets to do it narrator. yeah they get to do adr for teddy you get to do the adr for teddy that's so that's tight fucking they're like cool. and then like summer came and went and like <laughs> then it got cold and things changed and then this is and like yeah. three years later i right. guess <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, like, he was like the bad guy uh <laughs> yeah I don't remember what I set aside in my mind to say. I, I remember it being kind of uh, cool and smart. But other than that, I guess I'll say uh, shout out to Atlanta. I'm out of here. I'm headed back to California. Yay, yay. It, thank you, ATL, what for you having wrapped? me. Yeah, well, here's the let's dig yeah, deep because I, I read well, you know on Variety that that uh, no, we're you not guys allowed to just... talk about it. We're not allowed oh, to talk. About oh, it. you're not allowed to talk no. about it. But you can't uh, dig I deep? am wrapped. I'm I'm leaving on Tuesday. So. And why aren't you allowed to talk about it? Because it's in Isaac variety. Isaac said I can't talk about uh, it. Oh, okay. Our manager yeah. said that you can't spill beans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right. I, I thought right. I could. But anyways, yeah. but uh, other than whatever happened with the production, it was mm-hmm. a very fun time in Atlanta, and I would love to come back. That's tight. Great hey, city. Oh, 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 wait a second. <laughs> what up? Blake. What? It's a good thing you're coming back because your specialized e-bike is waiting for you at the shoop, shop. Shoop. I picked mine up yesterday. Okay, and very special shout out to, to Specialized. The trails, so we bro. don't have to go on Twitter on a tirade and just publicly execute Specialized. They turns out they're a great company. No, they came. They came. Through they came. They, through. We love them. I saw your bike in the back. You posted something about it. I'm, it was in the I'm, back of my I, wagon. Yeah, I cannot wait to get back there and try this thing. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be so fun to. It's an e bike, but also it's a regular bike, so you can get a good workout in, right? And then like yeah, you just it, you turn just it on go or way f- farther. Yes, That's the best. So when you're riding and all of a sudden there's a monster hill and you're just like, I don't got this in me, but I want to keep going. You could just turn it on and you just boot scoot and boogie right yeah, up. The whole thing. thing is that when when you pedal, it turns on to assist you. And so there's like there's like level one, two and three. And that increases like the percentage of power behind your pedaling. When you stop pedaling, it stops. It, it is Makes you unstoppable cuckoo for cocoa puffs hell it's, yeah it's, it's great thank you specialized Amazing. thank oh, you your specialized. nose i bought some new jerseys i'm ready to rock oh hell yeah i got a All jersey right. on usa mm-hmm. baby let's go well cycling jerseys oh yeah, yeah. oh bad. yeah i my never bad. thought i was going to be like the full spandex guy yeah i thought you bought jersey mics and then <laughs> now i'm like head to toe spandexed up oh well, you're damn near 40 real <laughs> fast out there yeah no i know I'm I'm in my late thirties now. Now I'm a fucking kook. What you guys have known about me is that I've never really been embarrassed by wearing the uh, the kit, the gear for certain mm-hmm. things. You know, Absolutely. like for mm-hmm. running, the shorts have always been short. You know, yeah, and have. I know that when you're in your your early twenties and you're at the gym, you want to wear like long, cool basketball shorts. You don't want to wear mm-hmm. like 
Asics. You want to wear go like off. Jordans and stuff, but you know yep, what? Go off, King. You got to wear the appropriate yeah. attire. Carrot, carrot top, carrot top short. You got to wear the yeah. carrot top shorts. <laughs> Follow Carrot Top on Instagram. Yeah, yeah Durs always rock some shit that I didn't even know human beings rocked. I thought it was like only cartoon characters dressed like that. Right. Uh, yeah, I had never seen somebody wear a cycling hat to a party, and yeah. you did that, and you changed the game, and you wore it in the first episode of Workaholics. And shout out to you. I wore it yeah. in several episodes. Yeah, you, and yeah, are we looking rocked. here? It's right. It's right up oh, there. there I got one. <laughs> there it is. Planet Hollywood over here. Wow. I got wow. like six of these. Shout out so, to your So little... no take backs for me. <laughs> 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 Let's just say I'm hey guys, living my best life. <laughs> this is another episode of... Uh, this, this is, is important. 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 Uh, important. Uh, Body uh, great, uh, Chuck. Uh, 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 uh,